How many languages do you know? So I, I speak English and Spanish, and I read Greek and a little bit of Hebrew, and I also read Latin. So those are the languages that I am a, aware of. So thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, what's your favorite gospel story? How much is in the gospel story? No, which is, what is your favorite gospel What's story? What's my favorite gospel story? Hmm. I think it's Jesus uh, and the institution of the Eucharist, which is in three of the gospels and then in St. Paul's letter. So those are special. What is your favorite prayer and why? Where is my favorite prayer? What or is what is my favorite prayer? Okay. Um, there's a lot of them. Of course, the, the Our Father is a big one because he, uh, that's the one Jesus taught us. Um, and then the Hail Mary is a big one too because it's quoting the Gospel of St. Luke, especially. That's a big one. And then there's a prayer called the Sushi Pei prayer. It was written by St. Ignatius, and it's a prayer uh, like praying for a holy moment, but it's asking God to take over everything, everything. So I pray that prayer every day. Um, what is your favorite saint and why? So there's a number of them, really. So St. Louis, the King of France, uh, is one of them because I'm named after him. Um, but we also have, you know, St. Paul as the great evangelist, the one who really brought the faith to people that uh, were not of the Jewish faith. And then, of course, St. Peter is a biggie uh, because of his being called to be the first pope. Having said that, then uh, St. Therese of Lisieux, who's... Uh, a doctor of the church because of her little way, her prayer, and um, St. Teresa of Avila, also very much a doctor of the church and very special to us in terms of following Christ. And then modern times, uh, St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta and her work with the poor. And Pope John Paul II, who is now Saint John Paul II, because I had a chance to meet them. So modern saints too. So great question. Yes, sir. What is your favorite mass? What's the favorite mass? All the masses I celebrate are favorite, all of them. Uh, but you know, there's a special moment when I'm celebrating mass with you. So it's really special. And my favorite school today is which school? St. Vincent. St. Vincent de Paul is my favorite school today. What is your favorite part about being Bishop of Biloxi? Well, one of the favorite things is being able to come visit you. That's really neat. Also being able to celebrate Mass with a lot of different people all over the diocese. It's wonderful. And then performing the Sacrament of Confirmation too, which is uh, reserved to the bishop, which is wonderful. Yes, sir. How far have you traveled as bishop? So how far did I, what, for, as bishop? Travel. Travel as bishop? Oh, I travel all over the place, all over. So I'm all over the Diocese of Biloxi, and then I have meetings sometime in Baltimore, and I have meetings on the West Coast sometimes. I had a meeting in Rome, Italy, so it can be all over the place, all over. So we're, we're everywhere, all at once. How old were you when you became a priest? I was 25 years old when I was ordained a priest. Wow. And I'm going to be celebrating my 45th anniversary as a priest in a little over a week from now. Yeah. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have two brothers, and they're both married. And then they each have three kids each. And then some of them have children too, so I have some 
great nieces and nephews. Yes, sir. Who has shaped you in your faith journey and helped you discern the priesthood? So over the years, there's been a lot of people, but at the beginning, it was my parents and then the local priests and sisters. Uh, they were very helpful uh, in helping shape me. Uh, the Jesuit fathers in the, in the Corpus Christi Minor Seminary were very influential at that time. Uh, and then there's been friends and folks, priests, and sisters through the years that have been uh, very, very helpful, very influential. So, yeah, thank you. So, do we have a third question? Okay, any third questions? Yes, ma'am. This is a question that my friend wanted me to ask you. What's your favorite color? My favorite color? Blue. Blue. That's my favorite color. Yeah. Um, why do you wear that necklace? So, that's a great question. This is called a pectoral cross, and it's a cross that a bishop wears. So generally when you see this, it's a bishop, or it's a priest trying to be a bishop. <laughs> and then this one is really special because it's Jesus actually literally being called out of the ground. And the Holy Spirit, which is the dove up here, is calling him right out of the ground. And then next to him are all the sheep. And who do you think the sheep are? Us, yeah. So he wants, to, he wants us to be called right out of the ground with him. That's the resurrection. Jesus rising from the dead. So Pope Francis wears this one. And since Pope Francis is the one that called me to be a bishop, that's why I wear this one generally when I come visit your school. So super great question. Yay. Any more questions? We got it? Well, super, y'all did great. So let me give you a blessing and then we're gonna pose for a photo. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yay, team.